Hi, and welcome to episode 16 of the Guy Who Sews podcast. My name is Sean, and this is my weekly podcast where I share my quilting adventures, what I'm working on, what I've completed, and some other fun and exciting news. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I like to do works in progress to show you what I'm currently working on. And I have a few works in progress. The first one is one that you guys have been very talkative and very excited about, and that is my dinosaur quilt. So I actually did go ahead and get one of the plucks started, and there is a bit of a story behind it. I went out and um, bought some background fabric for it last week. And when I went to go cut it, I realized that my math was wrong. And I don't have enough. And to make matters worse, I basically bought close to the end of the bolt. So I figured running back to the store, which is a 45 minute drive, wasn't going to help me at all. So I decided to um, make a few changes and just make it work with the tools that I have. So this was the original block plan that I was going to do for it. And I've modified it somewhat. And I still think it's going to work quite nicely, and this is how it's turned out. Stay tuned, and later on I'm going to um, share some exciting news about the um, quilt along, or sew along, whatever you want to call it, in regards to that. The next item I've had is the pinwheel quilt that you guys have been following for the last few weeks. I was hoping to get a lot more progress done on it, but I have been on other projects as well, and this didn't get it done. But I was able to get four more of the pinwheels done, and these look really great. And then that one there. The other ones are all cut out. They just got to get sewed together. I would have got more done last night, but I was just simply flat out tired. And I ran out of bobbin thread. So that was kind of my sign. You know, hey, Sean, it's time to go to bed. And finally, I've, again, I've been talking about this for weeks. And I promised it to you guys earlier. And it's just taken longer than I expected. But the t-shirt quilt is underway. I am so excited. The t-shirts are cut out. And the first video is edited, it's uploaded, and it is due to go live at 9am on Tuesday. So everyone that's been waiting so eagerly and patiently for the t-shirt quilt tutorial series, the first one comes out this Tuesday, and I hope to release more videos in the series in the coming, like, once a week. So bear with me on that one. So now let's go ahead and take a quick look at uh, my week in review video. It's a little shorter this week. It seems like for some reason I didn't take us quite as much footage, but it should still be fun. So enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the Week in Review video. If you did enjoy this video so far, I'd love it if you'd hit that like button. So let's now move on to our finished project. Last week I mentioned that I joined a block swap group with Alicia at Quilts on Tour. If you haven't checked out her channel, definitely hit, hit it up. Um, I've put the channel um, link down in the description. Um, but basically this block swap is where you make 12 of a predetermined block and then you mail 11 out and then the other 11 people in your group will mail a block each to you. So you end up with 12 totally different blocks. You know, well, same block, but made out of different fabrics. So I went through my collection of fabric to see what I could find, just because when I went to the store the other day, I didn't see anything that was jumping out at me. And after a little bit of digging, I found what I thought was absolutely perfect for these blocks. So what do you guys think? So I made one pink. And then I've also made one with purples. So I'm going to make another 10 total. You know, I'm going to do half and half. And then mail those out. They're going out, out to um, 10 different locations in the US. And I'm also sending one to a lady in the UK. Which I think is fantastic. So I'm really looking forward to finishing those up. Mailing those out. And then watching my mailbox for some more happy mail in the um, coming days and weeks. So now it is time for news and other announcements. First of all, I'd like you guys to consider saving the date. For two weeks from now, Saturday, April 23rd. I can't release more details at this time because I am working with someone else. 
um, but we are planning to do something together as an event to do our charity quilts for the Stuggled and Hopes. So definitely keep that date um, locked and I hope you guys will join us for that. Last week I also asked you guys about whether I should do a Facebook group or something similar. I got a lot of feedback which I really appreciate and what I've ultimately decided to do is do a Discord server. Um, it is offers quite a bit if you're not familiar with Discord. It allows it has different chat program um different chat channels where you can put like your finished projects or you can ask questions and so forth. And it also has what they call voice channels, which also has video so you guys can actually go in and have like uh, a meeting, like you know, like a solo along together, kind of like a live but not being broadcast to the entire world. Um, if you guys need help with that um, or would like a tutorial video on how to use it, um, I'm more than happy to put one together. But um, if you're interested, the link for the invitation is below. You just simply click on it, you sign up for an account, which is really easy, and then you are you're in and ready to go. Um, I believe it's a really great program. The other thing about this Discord server that I am super excited about is that this is going to be a joint effort. It is not just my channel's Discord. I have been chatting with a couple other creators and we've decided that rather than have individual channels or individual groups for each channel, we wanted to band together and have one group for several creators so that way we can all band together and just basically have one big happy place so you guys didn't have to go from group to group to group to group um, to see everything and post. Um, we've called it the Quilters Co-op which we think is a fantastic name and I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, so you'll see myself on there along with some of the other creators. The ones that's on board so far is Beth with Goody Goods that I did the interview with last week and Courtney from Pieces, Love and Quilting as well. And um, yeah, we'd love to have more creators join us on board. We just want it to be one big happy um, quilting community. You guys get to see what I do each week and you've heard, I believe a lot of you guys have heard where I've started you know, my quilting journey. I'd like to know where you guys got the inspiration to start quilting and who taught you are you self-taught what did you learn from a relative or a friend let me know in the comments because i really would like to know the next announcement i have for you is i want to give a shout out to a brand new youtube creator one of my friends donna strunts and i hope i got your name right because i'm terrible with names just released her first video on friday night it is an intro video um, about her channel and I'm excited to see where she goes with this because she's only been quilting for two years she's made 80 quilts and is planning on doing a bunch of tutorials and from what I've heard on the video the other night she's also planning on doing a weekly podcast similar to mine so I mean I'm super excited to see that myself so definitely check out her video um, the channel name is Handmade by Ying and I'm going to put her channel description um, and link in the in the description as well. And I'd also like to showcase one more new, fairly new YouTube creator. Her name is Brandy, and her channel name is the Hundred Proof Quilter. And her channel is basically what she likes to call Journey to Learning. She does um, unboxing videos. She also does a really fun thing. Um, her weight loss quilting um, updates. I believe it's the same one that So Becca's doing. And then she also has a live every Thursday at 10 Central, 11 Eastern, um, which she calls Coffee of Brandy. And I've watched it a couple of times, and it's really, really fun. Brandy um, does a great job of her videos, and if you haven't um, checked her out, definitely do so, because I think you will enjoy it. So my goals for this week are to get more of this done, the pinwheel, get some more progress done on the t-shirt quilt so I can get the next video of that out and also get some more work done on the um, tulip blocks and that sort of thing there so we can hopefully get these in the mail the next week. So that concludes today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your comments. I love hearing from you guys. Definitely check out the Discord server. Um, get connected there. And we will see you all again next week for episode 17. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a great week. Bye.